SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM allows you to set up your properties so that the drawing card will pull properties from assemblies and parts that it references. To do this, the first thing that we need to do is open up the drawing card. Next, I'll select the control with the variable that I want to modify and click Variables. All the existing block attributes can be left alone. We just need to add a new one. The syntax for the block name is critical. It needs to be dollar sign PRP sheet all uppercase. The attribute name that we will enter needs to match the attribute that we're mapping it to. In this case, number. For the extensions, this will only apply to SOLIDWORKS drawings, SLD, DRW. Once this is accepted and our changes are saved, I can open up SOLIDWORKS and see how this behaves. I have a part currently open and I'll look at the part card. Right now it has the part number 12345678. Now I'll create a new drawing from this part and save it within my vault. By dragging on this view, I am creating a reference to that part. The very first view that you create is the one that this is going to map to. Now if I look at my drawing number for my drawing, I see that it's mapped correctly. What happens if I change this property? I'll return to my part card and add a zero at the end. Once I accept, I'll check this change in. Notice that both my drawing and my part are being checked in here. And I'll close my part and review my drawing card. It also has the zero. I'll open up the part and drawing card one more time just to be clear. Opening up the part card can be done from the drawing and I see that property applies in both locations.